Today is Friday, March 26, 2010, and today's Friday photo assignment is understanding stops of light. You've got to become very familiar with what a stop of light is according to your camera. Whether you're playing with your aperture or your shutter speed, varying either one in either direction starts to add up to stops of light. Some cameras are set to do half stops, some are done in third stop increments, but you need to understand what your camera does so that you begin to understand how a different image will take place where light is concerned. So I want you to go outside, take a photograph, and then I want you to come inside into a dark space. I want there to be maybe only one area of light, so very directional light. Like right now, I just have one very small table light on me. And I want you to take those two photographs, the outdoor, bright light, sun, overcast, clouds, whatever. Make sure it's natural light. And then come indoors, get your correct exposure for an indoor photograph. And then I want you to tell me how many stops of light difference there is between those two photographs. So I need you to record your aperture and your shutter speed for the outdoor image and your aperture and shutter speed for the indoor darker image. And I want you to tell me how many stops of light you think there are involved between those two exposures. Send them to me with the data and I'll get back to you and let you know if you're spot on. But remember, first and foremost, you're a photographer. Make both of those pictures damn good ones. Enjoy, have fun, send it to me at bluesfire at mac.com. That's B-L-U-E-S-F-I-R-E at mac.com. I'll get him back to you with a good critique, all right? Have a great week. I'll see you soon.